For years, the Washington Post has tarnished gun owners in an effort to take away our Second Amendment freedoms. The fake news outlet even went so far as to make the blatantly false claim that the NRA had illegal ties to Russia. But the Washington Post isn't mad about the lack of guns, it's upset about an abundance of truth. The truth about their role in the organized anarchy of the violent left by spreading lies about those who disagree with their radical agenda while refusing to cover the extremist beliefs and tactics of people like Carmen Perez, DeRay McKesson, and liberal politicians like Chuck Schumer and Al Franken who refuse to condemn them. So they trot out a general assignment reporter, Alex Horton, to call Dom Rosso's video dark. And they tell us we can't have an opinion unless it's about guns. Listen to me, Washington Post. In fact, I'm telling every leftist media propaganda machine defending the violent left to hear what I'm about to say. We talk about more than guns because every freedom is connected. If one is threatened, they all are threatened. And the organized anarchy that you and your politicians and your activists are pushing is destroying our country. It's why the more than 5 million members of the NRA, along with gun owners and freedom-loving Americans, have come together, a clenched fist of truth, to protect our freedoms at home. And we do so because Americans like Alex, the Post reporter who did serve, and Dom, have sacrificed so much to defend those freedoms abroad. It's why we will never stop fighting the violent left on the battlefield of truth. So here's a suggestion for the Washington Post. Don't worry about how many guns are in our videos worry about how many facts are in your articles because if gun owners abused our second amendment the way you abused your paper and the first amendment our rights would have been taken away long ago you people do more to damage our country with a keyboard than every nra member combined has ever done with a firearm your paper's new slogan may read democracy dies in darkness it should say journalism dies at the washington post <laughs>